Chapter 5 What have we here? Electra asked. She and Augustine were in separate cars, both a couple of minutes behind the ambulance. They were afforded a ten-second look at the body as it was being wheeled onto the ambulance. There were no signs of life. The man would be taken to the hospital, but there was no chance of him surviving. It was probably strangulation, the paramedic explained, plus a beating. And then the ambulance was gone. Thoughts, Augustine asked, when the flashing light on top of the ambulance had gone out of their view. Death, was the answer. But it wasn't from Electra. It was from someone who stood up from behind the car that belonged to Mark McManus. She was looking at the outline of blood that had made its way around the edge of the body, as though it was a chalk outline from a dated movie. And you are? Electra asked. My name is Amelia Catrone. I called for you guys and the ambulance when I found him. I knew there was nothing the paramedics could do for him, but I assume there is a great deal you can do. I want you to bring his killer to justice. That's kind of our job, Amelia. What did you see? Augustine asked, moving so he stood next to Electra. I saw almost nothing. I got out of my car, she explained, pointing at her vehicle and then I saw a pair of legs on the ground. Apart from calling 999, that's as much as I saw, and I didn't want to see anything else. I already know that those legs, that blood, will haunt me in my dreams. I don't suppose you understand what that's like. Unfortunately, I know only too well, Augustine replied. The bodies of unsolved murder victims had haunted him in his dreams for years, but he was more interested in the dreams of the young girl stood opposite. Oh, like hell you do. I can't persuade you, but I have similar dreams. What brings about yours? Augustine asked. Past memories. Care to elaborate? He prompted. Is this official? Amelia asked. Like what? Part of the murder investigation. No, but we are here to help you, Augustine explained. Well, as long as this isn't written down anywhere, I don't mind answering. Well, Electra responded, we will need to take a statement about what you saw, but this won't be part of it. In that case, I don't mind. My brother died when I was 16. I found his body at the end of the garden. He had been missing for a few days. We were frantic with worry. I remember my parents spending all day and night looking for him. We had a long garden with a couple of sheds at the bottom. We had never spent any time in the garden before, so we didn't think to look there. As it happened, he got trapped between the shed and the tree next to it in a storm. A branch fell off and hit him on the head. He visits me in my dreams all the time. Sometimes it's calming and reassuring. Other times he's got his head bashed in and he chases after me. I don't want this guy to be in my dreams. If you catch his killer, then I'm sure he won't. Amelia, our job is to catch killers. That's all we do. So, we're going to do all we can to bring the killer of this guy to justice. Do you hear me? Augustine explained with the most reassuring voice he could muster. Thank you. Now can I give my statement so I can go home? Of course you can. 